Well, two major events took place on, on Saturday. Firstly, uh, the amendments to the Chinese Communist Party's uh, constitution, a slogan that really reinforces uh, Xi Jinping's uh, thought, political thought, and his core status called the uh, two establishers and the two safeguards. Well, that was enshrined into the constitution. Opposition to Taiwan independence, that too enshrined uh, in the constitution. And the second major event this Saturday uh, was the unveiling of the uh, Central Committee's members, those 200 or so voting members that uh, really make the uh, political elite in Beijing. Yeah, and in that new Central Committee that was unveiled, were there any surprises? Well, you have to understand that the Chinese Communist Party uh, functions in a pyramid structure. So if you're not a part of the Central Committee, it means you cannot be a part of the Politburo and you can't be a part of the all-powerful uh, Standing Committee. And we know that uh, four out of the seven current members of the Standing Committee are out, including uh, Prime Minister Li Keqiang. Um, if we all knew that he was going to step down from his premiership, it was quite uh, unexpected, or at least it wasn't sure that he was going to quit politics altogether. Another surprising uh, element was uh, that of one Wang Yang, uh, a man who was widely tipped to replace Li as a premier because of his economic background and his experience in administration. He, too, is out. Among the three who are staying in, we have Xi Jinping, and we also have uh, ideology star uh, Wang Huning, as well as uh, the all-powerful uh, anti-corruption head Zhao Leji, and the uh, final Politburo members, the incoming Politburo, likely to be stacked with Xi loyalists. We'll find out more details of that uh, on Sunday around noon Beijing time. When we're looking at what also happened on the stage, an event like this that is always carefully, deliberately done, there's a bit of confusion and surprise on stage when former leader Hu Jintao was led out of the closing ceremony. Absolutely. We have no official explanation as of yet. But what we do know is that this year's uh, final uh, closing day, that ceremony, was taking place behind closed doors, which meant that accredited journalists have been waiting outside until they were ushered in for the final part of the day when uh, delegates were voting in those changes to the Constitution. And after that, that's when we saw those extraordinary images of former president and former party general secretary Hu Jintao, 79 years old, being ushered out of the Great Hall of the People, uh, apparently uh, against his will. And as you say, um, these events are highly choreographed. It's left a lot of um, observers wondering, were we supposed to see this or were we not?